All right, question number 10. Question number 10. Your videos and channel are amazing. So much love goes into what you do. It makes me want to pack my bags and move out your way or take a vacation down there. Your videos really shine on the brighter things in life. They are therapeutic and relaxing. Tell us about your YouTube channel as well. Your amazing videos. Do you have a favorite, a favorite video that you made? Brent writes, Thank you so much for the extremely kind words on my work. It truly is peaceful here with nature all around. But if I had my way, I'd head up to Canada and hang out in Rambo's, for, in Rambo's first blood stomping ground in hope. That's a true landscape of beauty up there. Oh, that's a true... I'm getting a text. Sorry about that, people. That's a true landscape of beauty up there. I'm sure, and I'd like to visit it someday. As for my YouTube channel, I only wish I didn't have many of my videos deleted and hidden from public view because of the copyright infringement obs uh, obsessed obsession that YouTube does out on many of us who make these videos for only one reason, to pay tribute to the movies, actors, and characters that we love, and to share these with fellow fans. I don't wish to make any money from them whatsoever, nor do I. I have made several Rambo-related YouTube videos, but two of my favorite ones are my two comedy videos, which pit Rambo up against the Three Stooges in black and white battle and good-natured fun. I think both of those are still viewable and can be found via search. All of my, but my all-time favorite videos, a, uh, but my all-time favorite of my videos, aka my masterpiece called John Rambo Man Against the World. A tribute video I made in August 2000 featuring clips from all three Rambo movies accompanied by a survivor song called Man Against the World which is from Rocky IV soundtrack expanded edition, but does not appear in the movie. I wanted to make every lyric in the song refer to Rambo in some way, and amazingly, despite my I hated Windows Movie Maker program crashing on me and nearly making me lose my project, I was able to pull it off. I got so many comments and views on that video, and many people told me that it made them cry because it's such an emotional connection to the Rambo character. I used to love sharing it with pe with other people and being told they enjoyed it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I just scrolled down and lost where I was. Damn. Damn. Uh... That, <clears throat> that is what it is all about for me on these videos. Unfortunately, after several years, Lions, Lionsgate and Studio Canal uh, nailed me with copyright third-party content on it. And although I still have the video on my channel, and all my views, comments, and likes, I can no longer be found in its site search engine, and cannot be viewed by anyone except myself. To make matters worse from my perspective, some other YouTuber user... Um, some time ago downloaded and the video and uploaded it to his channel. And if he was the only one who spent the many hours editing, as if he was the only one who spent the many hours editing clips together and enduring the stress and strain of making the video. And so when you go to type in John Rambo Man Against the World in my search, my video doesn't come up, but his does. It makes me pretty bitter, to be honest, but at least... I had the hardcore fans who know the truth. And that's all that really matters, I guess. That video, that video Brent's talking about is an amazing video. Um, I had tears in my eyes just watching it, especially, you know, oh my god, the, the multiple shots, and like he was saying, it relates to the Rambo, to the Rambo, uh, to the Rambo films. And it's, it really is just one of those, um, it really just is one of those awesome, awesome heartfelt videos. It, it's, you know, and this the song, too, is just such a great song. We covered that 
back in our banned from YouTube classics when actually one of our videos was banned from YouTube in the same night as we <laughs> as we put up the banned from YouTube classics. Um, with not really anything to do on the copyright on it, they just banned it because I used a, a song from a CD that I bought that I wasn't allowed to use. Maybe we'll figure out a way around that. But um, copyright, YouTube is getting ridiculous with the copyright. It, it's almost like the reasons why YouTube were created now, they're going against all the, the reasons why they're created. Uh, I hope it doesn't see the tragic fall that MySpace saw. But it really is, um, it really is a sad thing. It really is a sad thing, and you know, it's just a shame. It's just a shame that we, uh, that YouTube really does this. You know, a lot of people lose a lot of really great work because of that, or it's hidden or such. You know, I myself in the past many times my videos um, got the cut from YouTube. You know, that's why I want to put all this out on TV eventually for no money. I don't want any money for it. I just want to. Uh, promote, you know, promote the show. Give the fans what the fans want. Because, um, you know, it's a buy the fans for the fans show, right? So, um, yeah. And this, this scumbag taking your video and, you know, YouTube letting them get away with that, that is horrible. <clears throat> that, um, that is just one of the most horrible things ever. Um, really, because, like, like you were saying, you put the blood, sweat, and tears into it. And I can totally understand you, because every time I make this video, with the uh, exception of yesterday, I, I you know, we did uh, 12 videos. And my Windows Movie Maker didn't crash once. But usually it crashes all the time. So I totally understand that, because it's so... So hard to make a movie, uh, to make a video with that, with that software, especially if it's a video with a lot of cuts. It's just, um, it's just painstaking. That's why I usually just put up one picture or a couple of pictures because, uh, I, I don't want to take the chance of it collapsing on me. Plus, you know, I, I do one minute of vocal at the same time, at a time. So I, you know, I totally understand because it freezes up, you know, it, it just, it's just, it's, it's, hor it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, one day, you know, I hope to have something different to use because, uh, you know, it's a piece of junk. It really is a piece of junk. And so for that guy to go out and, and, and take your work, you know, that's, um, that's horrible. That, that really is horrible. That, that's just horrible. Um, you know. Someone, someone should find that guy and, and make a note so they get hit with a copyright claim. Maybe, oh, I won't be uh, conspir conspiratorial enough to say that it will be me doing it, but you never know. You never know. Maybe we can have a little Black Ops Rambo Mania cult or crew that handles these uh, situations. A zombie squad that handles these types of situations. You never know. You never know. Um, I'm, I'm going to get myself in a lot of trouble, man. I should, I should just shut my mouth. <laughs> um, your Three Stooges uh, series. I came across that. And um, I came across it a while back, actually. And that's really, really cool. That's really, really, really cool. Um, everyone should, like, you know, drop what they're doing now. Pause the video, go search that, check that out. That is really impressive. And then, you know, come back, come back for the rest of the, uh, come back for the rest of the, uh, the Q&A. But that is, uh, fabulous. Very, very, very fabulous. So, next question.